stadium, of course, as we've known for years. And we don't often get New Zealanders coming here and paying 800 grand for a cult here, do we? Oh. No, absolutely. I, that's what I thought. Um, I thought it was an odd one, but the, it's owned by Hong Kong interests who are happy to spend that money just to get a, a decent horse. And there's a lot of Hong Kong money in New Zealand racing, isn't there? There is, and this horse would have been purchased by Lance for a client of Paul's, ultimately to race in Hong Kong, you would imagine. If he wins a race like this, he's a Group 1 winning Australian cult, he mightn't leave our shores. OK, so there's so many subplots, isn't there? So the big crowd building up here, the first of four Group 1s, the Ingler size, it dates way back this race, we've told you, to 1867. And it's a big prize, and uh, the repercussions of a win are enormous. Here's Darren Flindon. Chauffeur for Josh Park, drawn the car park. Chauffeur is the last to move in for the million dollar Group 1 English size here over the 1400 metres. Tulip, the second favourite, drawn the fence. It's been the place to be today, and they're off and racing. Well, she hasn't shown much speed to Tulip. Northwest Passage and Sakonia both hit the gates running, and right up there with the leaders as well as Minari, followed by Trapeze Artist and Tulip now whizzing up the inside. Feng Chu Camp behind, followed by Aspect on the outside, Invader. Then Single Bullet, the mission deeper out from Viranillo. Two further back to one more Honey than Diamond Tathagata. Further back to Astoria, Frolic second last and chauffeur has been taken back to last at least a dozen lengths off the leader which is Sakoni down the side of the course and Sakoni just leads from summer passage Minari couldn't get a spot in on the outside of trapeze artist tulip behind them further back to invader the mission whipping up around the outside of them further back to aspect as they come up with the home turn they're followed further back by single bullet then came Veronello diamond tathagata frolics going to make the turn very deep from one more honey then a story and Chauffeur will drive for luck into the straight. Summer Passage for New Zealand Cobb moves up on the outside of Sakoni and Perton sits quietly on Summer Passage. Tulip looking to push off the fence. Then came Trapeze Artist Minari and the Mission. He goes for the Doctor now on Summer Passage. It's a length and a half clear to Trapeze Artist. Invaders coming hard on the outside. Invader quickly moves up, takes the lead in the shadows of the post and Invader goes on to win the English Sires. Run down the New Zealander, Summer Passage, and Trapeze Artist third, followed by Sakoni, then Tula from the mission. Frolic, uh, too wide there, couldn't make up the ground. Further back to one more honey from Viranillo, further back to Astoria, Diamond Tathagata Minari, Chauffeur, Aspect, Single Bullet, and Feng Chu. Well, those colours Russian Revolution later today. Peter Snowden himself now won this four times this race, had the big run, of course, with the Godolphin Stroke Dali. She was a good win, and uh, Huey, well, Huey Bowman, a ninth group one for this racing season. He was three back on the fence, three pairs back, and he had nowhere to go following Tulip in the navy blue left of screen. He had Minari in front of him. He had to come back behind the mission. He was cool, he was calm, he never lost his stride. Beautiful balance, Huey Bowman. And what this colt did last start in the heavy track at Randwick uh, was pinned his ears back and attacked the line like, geez, get me on a good track somewhere. Uh, a little bit further in distance. We know he had the stone bruise, he missed the golden slipper, but that's a sign of a really good race to come back off that hot speed and attack the line. And the Colts fight back, trifecta the schnitzel. Well, Incredible. Is this a big one, two, three schnitzel? One, two, three schnitzel. Unbelievable. And um, the, the people that bought Gunnison at the chairman's sale this week will be happy because Gunnison defeated Invader last start. The two of them had a real ding-dong battle. Oh, they like two terriers. Gunnison beat him, but Invader was tough that day and would have come on a lot for the run. Here, here we can just see Hugh Bowman move off the rails looking for his run. Invader's got a funny start, doesn't he? He puts his head up a bit like he's really trying hard to really flatten out. Hey, Richard, big result left, right and centre, isn't it? Oh, it is an extraordinary result, Bruce, and Paul Snowden joins me. You and your dad have created yet another future stallion. How do you keep doing this? Look, it's, um, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Tell you what, just sort of, um, you know, bite your top lip, what happened to a slip a week and leading up to it. And full credit has to go with all our staff. They've done a tremendous job and, you know, we wouldn't have been here today if, if it wasn't for them. So, um, thank you very much. And you've had a lot of faith in this cop? I have. Look, he's, he's always been looking for 1400 so that's that's been the biggest plus just waiting and waiting for this to happen but um you know once he just lobbed in a lovely spot Huey Huey uh, gave him every possible and once he sort of popped out 
Um, he hadn't balanced up yet. I'm thinking, come on, come on. And, um, you know, he, he was certainly the strongest one late. And his association with China Horse Club and Newgate and producing these stallions, you couldn't possibly write a better story in the last two years. No, look, it's, they've been patient. I'll, I'll say that. They've had a lot of bad luck along the way, but hopefully it's a, it's a time of change. Um, Russian certainly um, put the writing on the wall last week and um, only spoke today and we're not finished yet, hopefully. I just saw your dad walk past. I'll let you go and go and give him a big hug. Well done, buddy. Hi, mate. Yeah. Great stuff, Richo. So Huey Bowman had combined with the Snowdens with Pride to Dubai two years ago to win this race. And look at him yelling the horse home. So and for Snitzel, as Pete Moody said, quite remarkable. One, two, three, siring in the English size, the place goes. And well done to you two guys. I mean, on top for Simon and the second selection for you, Pete. So a decent quinella there.